Hi folks. I'm out here in my garden and uh, digging up a bunch of strawberry plants to reset them. And it always, these strawberry plants remind me of just how well perennial uh, plants, fruit, everything, the permaculture, um, how well these things do to take care of us if we just try to help out nature um, have our properties like this, okay? These strawberry plants go crazy. I've got something else in here um, that likes to reproduce after its own kind. Y'all see that? See that red vine coming up out of there? Does anybody know what that is? I tell you what, I hope I find it some kind of edible plant if anybody knows what it is, leave me a message down there in the comments. Because right now, I just have a pure hate for this stuff. It takes over everything. It's worse than my strawberries. <laughs> well, Y'all can hear the mower in the background, so this ain't the best time to make a little video. But look at that worm right there. I wanted to bring, bring y'all in here in this process of what I'm doing just to make a quick mention of things digging up my strawberries here I'm a, I'm around the, around the corner now my walkway and uh, let me just tell you when I I've, I've got a little half acre piece of land a little tiny patch of land and when I moved here it was first and foremost to do no harm to my land so I left it. I left trees on it, everything like that. I had to, um, well, a tornado came through and took down some for me. And the other ones I got a little nervous of. I left some of them. And uh, I'm, in, I'm replacing those trees that were here with fruit trees. They don't fall down and tear up too much. But it was a strip of woods. And I didn't scrape it all off, right? Look at this soil, okay? That right there is forest floor. Forest floor. Um, I realize that not everybody can do that. If you can't leave your land in a good natural state and preserve all the life that's in that top layer of soil, you know, you can regenerate what was lost, okay? You can do that. Add layers of layers of things to break down. And over time, it will. Look at here. I've got a, one of the ones I just pulled up here. See that strawberry right there? Growing right on top of a piece of rotten pine bark that's been buried up underneath the soil for a while. Hey, let me keep going. Uh, <laughs> I have to come over here. Uh, Wilson is reminding me to keep my eye on the ball today. I've been hearing him out here hollering for me. I'm like, hey, I ain't got time for you. Um, I'm going to stop what I'm doing and bring you this message. Keep your eye on the ball. As long as you're doing that, if you've got a good plan and you're doing things in this right way, you know, keep your mind in the game it's all good but you got to do that if not you get this <laughs> if uh if you forget things too long you might lose things now i was up <laughs> and it also pays if somebody's sitting there screaming and hollering at you even though they might have done it a lot of times Sometimes maybe you need to pay attention to them. I told y'all you can follow me for ways to kill your plants. Torture them and kill them sometimes. And that's kind of what I'm doing my poor strawberries. They're going to be fine. Uh, I've got the path dug out all the way to my, my little mat there. So we're around. We are around the bend now. Still got a lot to go. And then all the ones over in here, 
and I've this is my Jerusalem artichoke bed, so I've got to get it thinned out so those uh, so those Jerusalem artichokes can pop up. Look at all these strawberries. But we got a plan. Uh, the thing is, last night I was out here working, or yesterday evening, and I got an emergency call that I had to go on. It was, <laughs> you ain't going to believe this, it was, it was John <laughs> from Will It Grow, you know, great, wonderful gardener and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, well, I mean, we talk a lot. We're friends. We're we're good friends. I think sometimes I wonder, but uh, that boy was calling and crying to me. It's like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I lost the seeds. I lost the seeds in the secret seed challenge. I don't know. I've got these big, massive hands, and the tiny seeds just fell to them. I'm like, what? How could you do that? Now see, I, those were some special seeds and his massive hands, you know, his big burly man hands. He couldn't hold them, right? Whatever, John. And I, it was, but that, I got distracted with that and then we had to, we spent a lot of time talking about shed wars. That's, that's where a lot of time goes, is um, all the things that are concerned with shed wars. And little strawberry plants get forgotten about. But, um, and then today, I'm sitting in the house, and I, in my mind, I completely forgot that I had all this going on, right? I got hung up in a live stream far too long with that um, free uh, freehandly made AU. Great girl, we had a wonderful devotional you know kind of chat going on there in that live stream but um and as life has it see now when i should have been out here doing all this right now i've got to go to the store i've got to get up to the store and get myself some uh some groceries and get back here um but i'm gonna do an emergency maneuver and i'm gonna show you what this is like here right now but what i'm gonna do just put them all in here. I've already given them mostly water over there. All of them's been watered. Just going to give them a nice, cool drink. Just calm all that action down right there. Let them, let them get cooled off and get some water. These strawberries are extremely tough, and they are just fine. Just a little wilting. Most plants are. They have some resiliency about them. So we're gonna do that and then one more thing. And then we're gonna take the wonderful little kitty pool that we still got. We're gonna cover them over. Keep that sun off of them. That'll and I got another one there I'm gonna put over here. But uh I don't know. I guess I can make this a shed wars video. I guess I can. I've spoken a few things of uh, some good, good things to you there about the about the soil and what how to leave your land. But uh, as far as a good shed wars tip, I can tell you this. You know, a lot of times we look for um, look for what plants we want to grow. Now these little strawberries here. They are not, when, if I don't kill them all, they're not going to make a big strawberry the size of an apple, okay? It's not going to happen. They get to be about golf ball size, right? They're pretty close to wild, pretty close to the first ones that were, uh, uh, what do you call, uh, uh, grown and developed or whatever. Uh, to be strawberries they're open pollinated heirloom plants learn about these things um, the closer you get to wild the better and the wild plants of your area have more nutritional value than anything that you can buy at the store and 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 most of the time 
the wild plants have more nutritional value than anything that you're going to grow nowadays, like the lettuces, right? This is henbit dead nettle, okay? A powerful plant. This, uh, this is probably dandelion. There's more nutrition in the wild edibles that you find out there than you will ever grow, all right? And these are plants that take care of themselves. So the more perennial plants that you get, the more uh, surviving, surviving plants that you get on your property, learning what they are. When you make those choices, it's, it, it, it allows you to have food that just grows itself. There is nothing like that. Absolutely nothing like that. So um, uh, that, that'd be, you know, I guess technically the Shed Wars tip that I would have to offer. I appreciate each of y'all. I tell you what, I know I'm long-winded here, but I'm, let me bear with me just a little bit more to tell you all just how proud I am for each of you uh, joining us in our efforts in Shed Wars. It's been incredible, and it's been because of you. I thank you very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time from my little strawberry hill. Zoom in on that to go out. Y'all be good.